we used to have the draft at Radio City Music Hall, and lines around the corner, indeed, red carpet, star-studded. Um, it, it was incredible. But this is New York, so we, we see a lot of those big-time events, and no one puts on big-time events like New York does, and it just was another opportunity for New York to just show out when it came to handling the NFL draft. I wasn't here then, but I remember it used to be in uh, the Sheridan down the street yeah. here, and now it evolved into you know the Felt Forum and some of these other places. So it really became big when it was in New York through that period of time. And then there had been the talk that they were going to start expanding it out, and sure enough, they did. But I thought New York actually did a really good job with it. The trajectory was, you know, New York for 51 years in the hotel ballrooms at right. the Sheridan, bouncing around found a good home at Radio City. That was the shift to prime time and Thursday night and red carpet and the right. elevating it from just the daytime on the Saturday and Sunday. And I think the next natural move was um, there's so much interest around this thing. Could you go somewhere else? Clearly, New York was a staple, but we looked at where else could you go, looked at multiple different cities, and ultimately Chicago in the heart of the country in a you know incredible fan base felt like a great place to go but at that time it was still probably in in our mind and most of those cities minds a theater event right. an avid fan event for the fan who wants to you know follow every pick and it was kind of contained to that and and made for tv within a theater right positive great but not necessarily 600,000 street right. people on this lower Broadway in Nashville. If you're a fan of the Raiders or if you're a fan of the Philadelphia Eagles, you get to get together in a group. You get to like cling and just hope that your team gets that player right. or that impact person that's going to be able to change your franchise, hopefully for the next decade or so. You've got this long off season where this is this oasis that sits there in April yes. where I can, you know, touch and feel the draft and kind the of team pop up my level of hope without yes. you know a win or a loss at the end of the three right. days. So you think you, you felt like it had this potential. I would definitely be lying if I said we can see just the, the sea of people there. It certainly outdid uh, you know our expectations there. Just the community of the NFL and just fans being able to get together, that generates the excitement for the NFL draft and it's just a new hope and it's a new opportunity and you know people look forward to that each and every single year, especially if your team stinks. Right. <laughs>